Hi, right, Gareth here from Port Monkeys. It's embarkation day, of course. And there are a lot of excited people in this hallway. But we're on the Carnival Radiance, and our cabin is 9230. So I'm going to slip my key in there and go on in where it's a little quieter. Oh, look, it's Janet with, with evil backlighting. Anyway, you need to put your card in here for the lights to work. So, let's do the bathroom first since it's right here. Of course, we've got tissues, trash can, big counter space, bar soap, two shelves there, two shelves there. Ah, uh, an outlet for electric razors. I didn't bring my charger. It's only a four day cruise. Got your towels. This guy, brush in case you need it. Look at all the toilet paper and tissues they gave us. Shower, pretty standard. I'm gonna try to back up so you can get a good look at it. Clothesline, somebody pointed out to me recently, because I say all ships have them. Oh, right over there. I said a Royal Car some Royal Caribbeans don't, so I don't know. It's got one of these, fully adjustable. You could turn this to raise it up. Shampoo, shower gel. Now in Princess it's shampoo and conditioner and shower gel. Anyway, uh, one of these will be the water on off and the other one is the temperature. See the numbers on there? 38 is warm but not hot. Oh, it's got one of those. Let's go here then. So that's the front door. So that's a like a folding door. Got a safe. Got a rack here, I guess, for hangers. Keeping in mind that uh, the hangers are, well, I'll show you. It does have this deal. I notice this on carnival ships all the time now. Where I could fold that up and have more room. Of course, they've piled my life preservers, which I thought should be up here, but I guess there's not enough room. Anyway. Janet was noticing that there's a tall closet, we'll call it, and there's a place for more closet poles. <laughs> and then a short closet, extra pillows. This is what I mean. There's no way to move that that I know of, unless that comes apart somehow. Anyway, um, they put the refrigerator in here rather than there or there. So I'm not sure why. And notice they only gave us one bottle of water, but we're supposed to get two because we're platinum. Of course, shelves here. And they charge. Another mirror. Yeah, water's $3.95, but platinum people get two, two of these bottles free. Um, welcome to Catalina. That's our next stop. Uh, Welcome aboard. Our team has been looking forward to... Oh, this is about Russia and Ukraine. Ukraine, not Russia. I guess. Well, there's Russians and Ukrainians on board, I suppose. This is about C CDC. I noticed they didn't give us masks. And all the cruises we've had now since September had masks. Good to know. QR directory, food allergies, stay connected, safety info. These were on the bed. I guess they're from the casino. Uh, TV's not huge, um, but it probably has some free movies, it probably has some pay for movies. So the TV has those channels. See those little boxes changing? So, you got CBS News, Turner Classic Movies, Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, Home Garden TV, Food Network, Travel Network, Discovery, and that's pretty much it. Everything else is either a carnival channel or whatever. On demand, they have some movies. But if they don't say free, 
in a little green square, they cost $5. So everything that's new, whoops, costs $5. So we just click through some of them. Those are all free. Heard of any? Seen them? Want to see them? And then every time I find a movie like Dune or Lost City or Licorice Pizza or Cyrano that I want to watch, I realize it doesn't have the uh, little green free box. And I would have to pay to watch it. So that's the TV in the room. And then more shelves there. So little shelves there, big shelves there, and a cabinet. Sort of like this one with stuff in it. Ooh, hand sanitizer. A little stool, of course I showed you the mirror, it's got a little light, mm, bright light. Janet wants me to show you the USB outlets now, and two 120 volt, and one Euro style. Hair dryer in the drawer, two other drawers it looks like, table, couch, um, carnival balcony cabins. I always have a couch on Princess. That's a deluxe. Remember my COVID cabin? It was a deluxe cabin. I'm going to say there are no USB ports by the bed. So, of course, that's that nightstand moves. And there's only one. There's something down there. Looks like a button and a safety pin or something, maybe. Oh, there's no nightstand on the other no. side? No. Okay. Anyway, let's go outside. Don't forget to step up. So we're in the port of Long Beach. And last time, a few months ago, uh, January, February, we were here. And there were several cruise ships that had been docked out here for months. In fact, I think there might be one way out there, but they're gone now. As we usually find on Carnival, we have one chair that doesn't recline a table and one chair that does recline. So I'm not sure whether they couldn't afford two recliners or what. It is a nice size balcony though, for balcony cabins. We were on the Discovery Princess recently and this was right here. And so it didn't matter that both chairs reclined because there was no way to recline unless you turned them sideways. And two even fit next to each other. So let's go back inside. So let me give you a nice shot of that. So bed, king size, allegedly. Um, couch. That probably folds into a bed. Janet thinks this may be a bed. And she might be wrong. I didn't talk about thermostat. This is a different thermostat than I've ever seen on a cruise ship, but still there are no numbers. There's just... Oh. Huh. I've never seen one that worked that way. Anyway, Gareth and Janet from Port Monkeys saying... Port Monkeys out. See you in the next part. Bye. Bye. Carnival Radiance, right? We're docked in uh, Ensenada, Mexico. Their seals put on a show. Oops, somebody else is joining them. Too. There's a lot of them out here. There's more on the other side of that wall.